All right, welcome back to Frame Fatales, an all women speed running showcase here on Games Done Quick. I am Nika Sor, hosting for the next little while. And if you didn't see Smooth Operatives run at AGDQ, uh, I did, and this is amazing. This is an absolute treat. So uh, she is amazing. This whole run of Tomb Raider 2 is amazing, and I cannot wait to see it and be here for it. So Smooth Operative, take it away. Hey guys, no pressure or anything. Um, okay. <laughs> My name is Smith Operative. I'm joined here today by my very good friend, Cat Link, who will be helping me commentate this run. Say hi, Cat. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? So um, we'll be doing Tomb Raider 2 Any Percent, and this run is actually going to look uh, slightly different from the one that you may have seen at AGDQ in that it is a slightly different version of the game. So there are new glitches and new tricks that I'll be able to show off for you guys, hopefully without uh, any problems. You got and, this. Um, yeah, I hope we got this, but I hope everyone's been enjoying the marathon so far. And um, I don't know, I guess let's just go for it. What do you think, Kat? <laughs> I am ready. Let's do it. Okay, uh, in three, two, one, go. So we start off here at the Great Wall. Um, the premise of this game is that Lara is searching for a magical dagger. And this dagger has the ability to turn the user into a dragon. And you know, dragons are all powerful. <laughs> the mystical so dragons. we have to watch out for the guy that we will see soon enough. His name is Bartoli. And you'll see a lot of glitches just kind of happening. A lot of the things that happen in this run are repeatable, I guess. So you saw me do like a corner bug and a ledge bug, but you'll see more of those, so Kat and I will be able to kind of explain it um, yeah. as the run continues. It, it happens quite a lot, so there will be yeah. different a lot of times. So there's just a lot of principles. Like here, for example, Lara's weapons are drawn here so that it cancels like a visual, like um, it sort of goes into cinematic camera from time to time. And so when she exits uh, that door, it's like, oh, the Great Wall, ah, in old glory. Uh, but we can't that out. <laughs> yeah, we're just not going to look at that. In fact, I've seen the Great Wall too many times. It's a this lovely reset likes... point, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, this kitty likes to cause tr trouble sometimes. But what cat doesn't, right? <laughs> I love me some cats. I love kitties. Yeah. A lot of the... A lot of the gameplay in Tomb Raider, just in the run and casual, is about collecting keys or pulling switches to get through doors that lead to other doors. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. We're going to be using a key doors. to get this key and continue on. <laughs> All the keys. The never enemies happened. in this level are pretty relentless because, I mean... Lara's getting bit by Black Widow spiders right now and not going down, so she's a beast. <laughs> she's got some sort of thing going on with her. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So this is a type of 3 by bug. Um, it just kind of works uh, when angles meet there between, like, two cubes. And you'll see it again a few places. She kind of just turns into paper and goes right through the seams. Yeah, Lara is, in fact, made of paper in this run, so she'll be <laughs> going through a lot of uh, a lot of things in very mysterious ways. And I'll try to make some good saves during this run because it's very unforgiving. Um, there are so many places to die, it's a little scary, but yeah. I'm going to do my best here. <laughs> You got it. The Great Wall is like Trap City. <laughs> the Great Wall Trap remix over here. <laughs> There's actually a lot of traps everywhere, my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah. Whee! Whee! We're actually gonna take uh, the zip line out of this level, so you will get to see a little bit of that cinematic camera I was talking about. The good old cinematic view. Boom! Action shot! <laughs> Hi, kitties. Don't bite kitties, please. Thank you. Do not bite, please. <laughs> so we were talking about corner bugs very briefly earlier, and we do have one coming up uh, in Venice. 
but it's under it's an underwater uh, corner bug, so it will look a bit different. But the principle is the same. You get into the corner, and then it glitches you up to the topmost platform that Lara's able to land on. So let me try to um, set this up for you guys. Pretty much just diving, clipping in, and then magically you'll just pop right up. Yep, there we go. And you'll Thanks. notice sometimes Lara's foot almost looks like it hangs off the ledge. It's just something about the game uh, that it lets her kind of go a bit ahead of where she's really looks like she's going. So it looks like I might fall, but oftentimes I don't. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> yeah. So sort of like that happened. I did like a little bit of a... It kind of just pushes you forward. Yeah, it's like that tiny, tiny bit of extra space that lets me land on things I'm not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, coming up here soon, you guys might be a little upset. You might not, but, um, <laughs> the boat uh -huh. is no longer a thing in this version, so if you're looking forward to listening to Venice Violins, I'm sorry, but, uh, Beautiful we won't. Violins. <laughs> yeah, rip Venice Violins. We won't be listening uh, to that because we get to actually skip it. And we do that with a form of quapping, which is um, when Lara is sort of into the ground. But it looks different underwater, and this trick can be annoying sometimes, but I hope I can get it for you guys. It looks very special. <laughs> it's, 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 it's interesting. I'll be lighting a flare and kind of using uh, Lara's I guess momentum th going through the water to kind of push her to the level exit. So, yeah. anyway, like, like I said, like, let's see if we can get this done. Quickly. Let's get the sinking into that sand, shall we? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna make a save. Got this. Got Ooh, this. Okay. So essentially, she's going to just clip through there. Oh, oh, you guys get to see this. That's fun. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey! I gotta reload this. I'm sorry. But that's what it looks like. <laughs> she got like, kind yeah. of stuck on the wall. But, yeah. Alright. So stuck in there. <sighs> jump over a certain tile. And then you got a certain amount of time before you kind of yep. sink into the sand. Exactly. In a traditional pop, it's about 8 to 10 seconds before she pops up. But, anyway. So that's Venice. That's new Venice. Oh god. The hotness. We didn't need those rats anyway. Yeah, so remember <laughs> what we were saying about Lara being paper thin. Yeah, she's just gonna go right through the wall again. Yeah. It's a... Lara uses her, like, the animation while she's stepping to kind of go through that, um... Go through that wall. No biggie. It turns into paper, it's fine. Paper craft. <laughs> Literature raider. I don't know where I was going with that. But we are in a library, actually. You just can't see all the books. <laughs> that, that, so it's a very empty library. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let's go through that wall again. Yeah, I gotta... This one's being a bit weird at the moment. Got it, you got it. There we go. Hey, there. Hey. Noise. All right. So, typically, you're not supposed to be able to, I don't know, jump through balconies this way, but, uh, you know, Croft can. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it, it just magically makes that jump. Don't know how, but, you know. The game is pretty broken. A lot of times, there'll be something called a banana jump where Lara can sort of hit the side of a wall with her shoulder. Like, body check it a bit, and then it sort of lets her go around, like, in a little banana shape, so... <laughs> Just got that, that curvature. That curvature. <laughs> yeah, cool. okay. I'm gonna go sir? ahead and kill this guy. Okay, so, please stop what you are doing, sir. <laughs> yeah. Thank you go very much. Fence? Boop. That fence is the most useless fence I've seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> So once I hit this switch, these two guys are gonna start shooting at Lara like crazy. And uh, 
You really just gotta do your best to get the heck out of here as quickly as possible. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, they don't shoot her to death, but... They just like to push her around, it's fine. Yeah. So, just gonna get a little bit of space here. And then use this uh, pickup momentum to go through this wall here. Whee! There we go. And, and that is the table. end of Bartoli's hideouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you got, girl, you got this. <laughs> Alright, to the opera. So we are at Opera House, and I'm gonna make a huge jump here in a second. Uh, with what is called a flare cancel. And I'll be using a flare to cancel Lara's stumble animation so that she just continues moving. Like yeah. so. So, so usually she'll have like a little bit of a stun there. Yeah, like she'll pause for about, I don't know, two or three seconds and then... And then she can finally move again. Yeah, yeah. So basically you do that throughout the entire run. Um, you know, you throw a flare when she's about to land, and then she just keeps going and going. Just gotta keep that momentum! Yeah. <sighs> this is a bit funny. If you shoot this guy early, he usually doesn't shoot at Lara. Oh. He's shooting somewhere, but definitely not at yeah. Lara. Alright, I'm gonna try to do this. I did not do this at AGDQ, but Lara can actually go through this elevator door. Slide right through. Yeah. It just works. Hashtag just <laughs> works. <laughs> right. Like, so that was a stumble, but I mostly yeah. just like to adjust Lara, so I let that one happen. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, he is really trigger happy up there. He's I... having a bit of a moment. Jumped a little bit early there, so I might have almost died. That was like pixel magic health. <laughs> oh boy. Got this, got this. Some swerve strats for you. Hands are getting shaky. Swerving around. Alright, now we're on that plane. plane. And now we're hey, on the plane. plane. So we actually got on a Bartoli's plane. We snuck on. Uh, we got knocked out with like a big old wrench. And now we're trapped in this room without our pistols. So, of course, we gotta find a way out, you guys. So let's do that now. Because whoever designed this uh, holding cell thought it would be a good idea to put a way to escape right here. It's just... The... I have a lot just, of questions for this person. <laughs> fine craftsmanship. Ooh, I'm getting a little sun glare on my... Uh... My monitor. Whoops. This is a timed door, so... Okay, at least we got out. <laughs> we got there. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Nothing wrong with a happy little bonk. <laughs> happy little accidents, it's fine. So now we are back. We're heading back towards the plane to pick up Lara's pistols, and then after that... We'll be doing traditional pop strats, which makes Lara look, you know... Well, you guys have played that game, right, Quap? The little Shoot. running man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what why it's called what it is, but um so that's coming up soon and I'll have to concentrate a little bit uh before we go into a, a new glitch for this version which is called the flicker and um Kat if you maybe wanna explain a little bit of what a flicker is, if you can. Uh so so basically uh flicker is when Laura is like aligned with She's aligned with a wall, and basically she's caught in like a constant state of rolling. So basically yeah. it looks like she's flickering a bunch, but she's actually sort of rolling into like into the wall. Yeah, so it'll let us do, um, it'll let us do like sort of wall tra travel, it'll let us travel along the length of the wall. Yeah, and, so um... we're gonna get from point A to point B just by doing a little bit of flickering. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> this is this all happens like at once, so I'm gonna try my best to concentrate. So, give me a minute, you guys. Sounds good. Uh, there is a link for Quop if you want, if you guys want to check that out. Yeah, if you guys want to check out the game. 
And I'll need to make sure I'm holding action when I go under this door because um, that's how she quicksands. And right, there's a wow. <laughs> One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Oh, I think that was 11, actually. You okay? So, all right, I'm gonna save here. This should be the last shot, I hope. Got it. All right. So, here we go. Here we go. Time to line us up. Yeah, I gotta line her up. So this is what we we're talking about, lining her up in the wall correctly. Yeah. Just making sure we're at the right spot so this goes well. Yeah, and so... work! <laughs> work, 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 girl, work! Work, 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 work! All right, here we go! Let's Ooh. go! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! That was minor complications. <laughs> I am in a good mood. <laughs> Typically that guy is a pain to align, but he was being a good boy. Thank you, yeah, boy. Very good today. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, torque strats. What do you guys oh, think? That was that was great. <laughs> oh, that good will time. never. Good times here in the rig. I'll always have a good laugh with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're at the diving area, which is ladder bugs galore, and um, I am gonna make a save at the beginning of this level, just so we do. Not have to redo that. You won't worry. Safety saves are a good thing. Safety first, guys. This is a marathon. Exactly. If I was feeling better, I would give a shout out to Lara's biggest fan, but there is a current in this water, and I do have to kind of manipulate it, so at least yeah, we didn't get sucked in by that. Let's not die to Lara's biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not. Like, you know, some fans are a bit crazy, hyper scary, and that's one of them. It's just, just a little little too much. Alright. A little too much. <laughs> okay, so we're coming off on the ladder glitch. This ladder, you guys, is long. It takes probably like a full minute to climb this ladder. I'll give it the cinematic. There you go. It's a, it's a good old snake eater ladder. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're gonna just bypass that by doing a quick um, ladder like bug. A quick little bug. Like this. Boop. Weep. And we oh. made it to the top. Nice. <laughs> to the top. Uh-huh. <laughs> <sighs> gonna right. grab our weapons. Yes. We gotta grab the uh, auto pistols from this dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's a sick plane bro. Uh, I gotta grab this. <laughs> That's, uh, he's, that's, um... Wow, that's some uh, serious muscle. That is all muscle, you guys. That's all in his, that's all in his ankles right there. Oh, yeah, that, he does not skip ankle day. <laughs> <laughs> ankle day, leg day, he's got it in there. This is just, uh, swag strats, if I can get it. Yep, oh, okay. <laughs> got it? Just, hey. just a little thing, so you don't have to get down, and you can make that, usually, if you're, if you're lined up right. It's kind of lined up perfectly. All right, so it's uh, believably, unbelievably, maybe to you, it is faster to kind of slide down the ladder like this and do the glitch again than climbing it. Like we avoid climbing this ladder pretty much at all costs. I, it's a whole minute to get up that ladder. That's that's, that's a that's long a whole, time. That's a whole minute. I don't got a no. minute. <laughs> right. So there are two flops uh, that we're about to do here in diving area. And the timing for this one is very different uh, from the, the previous version of Tomb Raider that I ran. Mm -hmm. So I gotta pay a little more attention to my timing, but uh, the setup is exactly the same, so we'll see how this goes. Got this, got this. Oh my god, this guy's like totally in my way of my setup. <laughs> dude! Come on! He's, uh... it's, about, it's about Lara, not about you, dude. He just wants, to, he just wants his front and center stage. Yeah having a moment. Hamming it up over here. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there we go. Oh, got the clock. Alright, so here we go. Good. <laughs> Gonna go gliding for a bit. Go gliding. So that was the first one. And we're gonna do the second one. 
Uh, whoops, I went a little too far. There's another way to set this up, but um, I learned as many new strats as I could, you guys, so oh, we're just using the classic setup here. Got this. Then I'm gonna activate it probably about now. And we're gonna, um, oops, I'm gonna glitch under this door. Get under that door. All right, and the worst of it is over. <laughs> Hyper class. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem. So you'll start hearing a few voices. Um, one of them is a monk, and one of them is uh, one of the evil cultist leader, the evil cultist leader Bartoli, and Brother Chen. And uh, Brother Chen's getting hassled right now for an item called the Seraph, which uh, everybody's trying to find. Blood or answers? I have no preference. You should spill a bit of a ball. Okay, Marco. What do you want? Come on, stick to your stomach! Tell me! Hey, brother! Ah! That's like my favorite line in this whole thing, so... Just humor me, guys, please. Honestly, it's, it's a great line. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear, like, those kind of sound effects again in Barking uh, Monastery when we get there, because uh, the monks are... The monks are good, and they're on our side, so they do help us uh, fight some... Uh, Monks are lovely people, and they kick butt for us. <laughs> yes, thank you, Kat. That's exactly right. Uh, so we're in 40 Fathoms. Lara kind of gets on... Once they find out where the Seraph is, she's like, okay, I'm going to try to get to it first. So we're actually going to do four water-type levels uh, in order to find it. And we are on a big cruise ship called the Maria Doria that was bombed and sunk to the bottom of the ocean trying to find it so we'll see some sharks we'll see some other sea creatures and some baddies in the process <laughs> just don't just don't get don't get too close to the sharks yeah we don't want to get too close <laughs> to the sharks but uh, we get to swim with them more than once so <laughs> they'll they'll be kicking around well we'll be doing it i'm sure they'll be they'll be doing their own shark thing i hope so uh, we'll see <laughs> all right So that guy did shoot me a bit. You don't really want that because uh, we are about to lose a little bit of health. I hope you guys dressed for warm weather because it is about to get scorching hot in here. Gonna get toasty a bit. Yeah, a bit. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Alright, so it looks like I'm out of large mint. That's a bit concerning. Pray for me, guys. Got this, got this. But we were able to use a small, so... Now we can cool off of it. Ah, you guys, isn't that nice? Cold water. You know, it's, it's, it's getting a little hot in here. A little too hot. <laughs> Having a pool, a pool party with this barracuda real quick. <laughs> So this section I'll have to kind of line up Lara. I have to I have to fall down this tile and make sure I don't hit this other one. Uh, so let's see. Okay, good. We don't want to hit that there slope because otherwise we have to go all the way around the room and... And uh, that's a whole process that we don't want to deal with. <laughs> no way, Jose. Okay, so we're on our way to uh, do what is called a dive bug, and Lara, <laughs> she's like, oh, I don't want to <laughs> get it together, woman. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, basically, we use the dive, and we'll be kind of hitting the floor. 
the floor <laughs> and like the wall at the same time so that she doesn't die um death cancel it's it's a wonderful thing yeah <laughs> cuz otherwise like eh, she would not be able to make that normally yeah. so at least yeah. we got that um <laughs> It's actually pretty cool to look at. Again, real quick. I know I'm like scum saving all over the place, but um, this guy oh. can really just like shoot Lara down here at the end. Don't worry. Make those saves. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the enemies in this game are just relentless. They, they, they yeah. will not stop. <laughs> like this guy, for example. Could you move, sir, please? Uh! Sir, please. Oh, I died right at the exit. No. <laughs> How rude. Oh man, like I said, they're relentless. Yeah, so that was just really unlucky. That guy was body blocking me hardcore. But you got this. You got this. Okay. I'm gonna do a med check real quick. Okay, I have none. Great. Oh no. <laughs> All uh, right. It's time is... to pick up some meds. This is fine. This is completely fine. Don't worry, you guys. Let's go, Chippy. Let's go. Because <laughs> we're about to pick one up now. Who needs meds? You got this. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no damage run. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, I did avoid some damage there by grabbing that falling ledge. Thank goodness. And there is one here, so... We might be able to make this work somehow. Uh, I'll just it. maybe be mindful of picking up some extras. I didn't think I had used so many. Now I'm a little freaked out, but... Hopefully okay. we can do <laughs> Alright, so this is another item clip. I have to set this guy up at a real particular spot, so, um... Uh, here we go, I guess. Move, sir! Yes, sir, please! Sir! Alright, so I gotta line this guy up now. Him lined up a little bit. You gotta manipulate his pathing path slightly so he climbs up on that box. Okay, good, sir. There you go, there you go. And here is where he needs to die, so. Good boy. They're being oh, actually pretty good sorry, today. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I scared myself. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -huh. Chipper. <laughs> what is wrong with me? You I'm on this. edge, you guys. I'm losing it. One more time, one more time. Losing it. It's gonna be okay. Okay. <gasps> oh, sorry. I missed the jump there. That was my fault. I panicked. Okay, there you go. Okay, this should be better. I angled her a little bit too much. I had a clumsy thumb on the left uh, button. Sometimes I'm using a PS4 controller for this game, actually. Sometimes we go a little too far to the left, and that's okay. Happy little yes. accidents. <laughs> happy little accidents. Well, in this case, not too happy, but you know, at least I made a save there. <laughs> All right. That's the, the magic of safety saves. Yes. Please don't bite me, sir. Oh, I don't like this health situation. I'm gonna use a small. <laughs> Got this. Right. This guy actually does drop another small med pack, so we should be good for the rest of this level. Well, at least the enemies dropped some meds for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of places I can pick up extra, so we should be fine. But Yeah, you know. Oops. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one up, and I actually have to race uh -huh. to this door sort of quickly because it will close on me if I'm not fast enough. I hope I didn't mess the timing up. Okay, we're good. Uh huh. Gotta get that butt moving. Yeah. Alright, so guys, we're uh, gonna go swimming with the sharks. Let's see if we can just get a quick view. See who's out there, what's lurking. Oh, hey sharks, where you at? Wow. Where you at? They're being shy. <laughs> that barracuda's like, I'm here, hey, what's up? Hey! Oh, I count too. 
I'm a fish too, you know. I'm a fish too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so there's shark number one, and there is one more. Where are you, shark number two? We're going to be doing something actually here that's called a free underwater flare. If I light a flare while I pick up an item underwater, which I'm about to do, um, it will be free, so long as I have uh, flares in my pack, which I do. So I can't Yay. complain about free flares. Nope, and there they are together, so they're not going to bite me, thank goodness. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we can breathe, you guys. Although, we have, breathe. To, we have tried to hold our breath in this particular section. I don't recommend it. But, you, you know, it is doable. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I have to be sort of fast with this flare because um, it will run out in about a minute. And we got a whole minute. Got a whole minute to get to where we need to go to use it, which I'm going to use it for a flare cancel <laughs> at the level, sort of at the end of this level, which we're about to head to. It's um, going to be a little bit of a travel, but we'll make it. Yeah. The uh, Lara is able to travel through trapdoors like that. It's, you know, just works. It's just hashtag works. <laughs> just works, everybody. Right, so let's see if I can get this. And good. There are a lot of enemies that do try to take down Lara's health here at the end of this level. Um, but we're gonna pick up the M16 and just keep on moving. Mm -hmm. okay. I have enough health to do the rest of this, I should, so. Got a couple of eel friends. My little eel. You guys like uh, Unagi? Okay, not gonna lie, it's like my favorite kind of sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh. eels. Now I'm gonna watch some you. sushi. Mm. <laughs> Who's getting sushi after this run? I should. It's 10 p.m. I ain't getting any sushi, but hey, <laughs> I'll imagine I have sushi. <laughs> oh, I forget some of you guys are on a different time zone. It's pretty early here for me, but... Alright, so I... She can travel through trapdoors. Um, I'll save here, because sometimes she misses it, but... Um, she should be able to just... Uh, well, okay, she didn't, but she should be able to travel through this um, trapdoor like this. There you go. There we go. There we go. We <laughs> for us. Um, nom nom. Uh -huh. And we're gonna do another corner bug. A med pack. Everybody gets a med pack. <laughs> you can have a med pack. <laughs> you can have a med pack. Uh, but yeah, so this one's a bit different. You just have to kind of line her up at this corner. Ooh, my lineup's kind of looking wonky, but got it, you got this it. should work in theory. There we go. Hey. And it gets her up. I guess that's more of a shelf bug, but basically all the outcome is the same. Get to the higher platform that she can land on, so that's what we A have lot done. of it is just clipping it, clipping through like a corner or a ledge just to get to like another area or through something. Yeah, yeah. so we do that with the highs and lows of the game. Uh, a lot. Yeah. Dive bug being like to get to the lower section and corner bugs, type bugs to get to the higher section, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like we said at the beginning, these bugs are all over the uh, all over the run. Mm hmm That's why it's hard to talk about it like at every section, right? Because we don't want to be like, and now for my and next trick. <laughs> another the corner, corner bug! <laughs> oh another corner bug. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We don't want to be like that. I mean, we could, I guess. And now, for my next trick, I will bypass death of eel. <laughs> death by eel. Eel! <laughs> Alright, this is, um, let's see. This is a little weird thing that I can do. Let's see. Alright, good. I don't know how to explain that, really. It's just, you have to line Lara up at a certain section so that she's able to kind of glitch through that seam. Mm -hmm. um, there are a couple of places you can do this in the run, but that's the only one that I think I use. There's a lot of Laura turning into paper and going through seams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do some more um, ledge type bugs. Typically, Laura would slide down this, whoops, slide down this type of a slope. 
You're like, oh no, I slid down the slope. How come Not I did slope, that? Uh... But if you do this, you can actually get up here. So, yay! Hashtag just works. <laughs> just works. All right, so we're coming up on the level exit for uh, living quarters. Living quarters. Living quarters. So I just gotta do a little bit of a run and gun here. Go ahead and just set this up uh, instead of going for the YOLO. Sorry, guys, I'm not feeling too confident <laughs> in this one lately, but uh, there is a setup for it. And you can just boop like that. I want to make sure you get it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be doing like three different ledge books here. And then trying to do an item clip that I absolutely hate. Pray for me, guys, please. Give Got me your energy. Step. Pray for the RNG. Or not really RNG, but hey. <laughs> uh, he's okay. just fast. So as soon as I and as soon as I get up this platform, there's gonna be a guy like on Lara's tail, and I have to do uh, an item clip like really fast. And if I don't, he's gonna knock me out of the position that I need to be in. So it's really important for me to get this lined up correctly. Um Yeah, this absolutely. guy's this guy's kind of a bully <laughs> oh yeah so not this guy but he's behind us okay let's count yeah. one two three four five six seven okay all right i'll make a separate save uh -huh. here this should work there we go all Got right this. good Whew. hey too fast for him See ya, nerd. <laughs> Later! Later, hater. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I got too cocky. I was excited. Oh, no. <laughs> when you get <laughs> too excited and celebrate early. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't celebrate too early because we're about to make a lot of drop-offs on the deck. And um, if, I'm if I'm not careful, I can really... Um, I can really damage Lara's health in the process. So I have to do this. Pretty carefully. Yeah. And something tragic happened here at AGDQ. Um, oh, yeah. the There was that's... actually, yeah, flamethrower guys in the wrong place. And I'm going to be absolutely livid if they're in the wrong place again. I think it's just, at this point, it's just going to be like a, a GDQ like meme. happening. It's just the meme of GDQ for Tomb Raider 2. Oh god, I don't see them and I'm freaked out. Guys. You got this. You got this. Guys. Okay. No, no, no biggie. I didn't I was worried for nothing. There they were. It's fine. Hey, there you go. <laughs> see, we freak out for nothing, but at least freaked out for nothing. The curse of GDQ is not happening today. No, ma'am. Alright, so we got the Seraph, guys. Remember how I was talking about that, like, forever ago? Yay! Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, the change of scenery might seem weird to you guys, but, um... What happens is Lara goes back to the rig, and she steals a plane, and she doesn't know how to drive it properly, or fly it properly. So she crash lands here in the Tibetan foothills, and... <laughs> so here we are. I and we're about to Tibet. do some... We're about to do some serious uh, skidoo driving, or those of you, maybe snowmobile would be easier to. It's the best part of the game. There's a lot of, uh, well, there's a lot of <laughs> wonky controls that will be happening, but also some pretty decent music, though. What am I saying, decent? It's amazing. Yo, some banger tracks. Some banger tracks. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I am going to reload that just because. It's okay. Now I'm paranoid of my health. Even though I made that, um, yeah, I want to be landing on that platform, and I do not have a lot of med packs. So, <laughs> thanks for letting me do that. Oh, you guys are cool. Fine and dandy. Here we go. Yeah, the, the controls of the snowmobile are super wonky when you like first try it out. She's gonna make it look like it's easy, but I promise you, they're I, not. I, I, not I hope so. Lara Got moves this. on like a grid, so a lot of people find this game really difficult to control. Like, uh, a lot of people don't like the controls, but um, yeah. 
the skidoo is like an, on another level uh, by itself. <laughs> like it's a whole other entity. <laughs> yeah. So just lining this up. There we go. Yeah. This skidoo is like sentient. Oof, okay. I'm trying to drive carefully here. <laughs> I'm a safe driver, guys. I swear. Very it, may safe seem, and it may not seem like it now, but this is Laura trying to get her skidoo license or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what they put them through. <laughs> Mom, how's my driving? <laughs> just, uh, just don't fall into any holes. And we're okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do a letter glitch. There we go. bit in this section because if I go too fast Lara will um, explode. <laughs> no biggie. Not but we don't really want that to happen. Let's not have barbecue Laura. Not again. Nah, no, it doesn't. Sorry. <laughs> Record scratch. My bad. underneath this ice there is a key and that key opens a very exclusive hut that allows me to pull a switch a hut uh, near to you. open some other door okay that's the lengthy explanation we're gonna cause an avalanche we're yeah we're just gonna make things shake a little bit we're gonna shake so it up under the ice is now cracked and we can get that key thank goodness because we need that key <laughs> need all the keys <laughs> yes La Lara might as well just be the key master here. I didn't know she was the master of unlocking. Ah. Her lockpick <laughs> skill is, like, insane. She's too good. She doesn't even need half the uh -huh. keys. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, good. We got the key. Now we can, um... We just have to backtrack a little bit. We'll be going, um... Going back to where we picked up the skidoo in the first place. <laughs> oh, this is such a wild ride. I keep forgetting for to it. breathe. You got this. Okay. All right, girl, calm down. Whoa. <laughs> Everybody, <control>. calm down. <laughs> Ironically enough, if you speed here on the way back, it doesn't blow up, Lara. But I don't know. All right, so I do have to kill some guy. Where are you, dude? All right. So I am gonna actually pick up this med pack. Because, like I said, we were maybe a little bit stressed. For Nothing health. wrong with picking up some extra health. We were a little uh -huh. bit stressed, y'all. Got this. I got okay. it. <laughs> okay. Now I just have to line this up. It should be good. Line them up, line them up, line them up. She'd normally blow up there too, but that little tiny bit of the hair surface, I guess, is enough to let the let her live. All right, so now we're yeah. off the speedy skidoo, and we're gonna go pick up another one soon. It's like just... uh, what, what do we call it, Ken? I'm trying to remember. It's the Merc Mobile. The Merc Mobile. <laughs> Not as fast, but twice the armor and ammo. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Okay, I'm excited. You guys are gonna love it. We're just trading out skiddies. We we didn't really like the one we had, so we're gonna go get the Merkmobile yeah. now. Lara's not a fan of red. She's a bit more uh gothic. Yeah, she likes that uh, gothic aesthetic. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> That's her aesthetic. I'm for it. Uh, hey, I'm for it. Yeah. Right, so another med pack here, and there's gonna be so like three amigos uh -huh. that appear here. Uh, one, two, three, yep. Woo! We don't want those guys anywhere near us, so... Y'all get out of here! <laughs> Y'all get, now! 
Don't nope, come Scram. back. Graham. This is my neighborhood now. Yeah. This is really scary. This guy can kill you in literally one nick. So I need to kill him. Fast. <laughs> yeah. If you get run over by this, even if it's like the Lara's pinky toe, she will die completely. So it's pretty scary. Yeah. You know, you might have a good run going on. Maybe you're feeling confident, you haven't saved, and then boop, Lara's pinky toe or, you know, her Achilles heel or whatever is just down. All right. I don't know if we can bongo cat in this chat or not, but hey, if you got it and you can, bongo cat. There's a lot of we can do sour please. Sour please. Sour please. <laughs> and there's always faith, guys. There's always so. faith too. Rawr. Rawr. Get those, tar those faith out. Get your faith out. So this is a type of uh, glitch as well. Um, how do I explain this? Well, it just works. <laughs> it, it just hashtag works. All right, so Lara Croft. This summer is <laughs> too big. <laughs> I just love the, I just love being able to explode that thing at the end of the level. It's very <laughs> satisfying for me. What can I say? Okay. Okay. So now we're at the monastery, and do you remember how I said the monks are the good guys? Yep. They're gonna fight these bad boys here. We don't gotta do nothing. They do it all for us. Thanks, monks. Thanks, monks. And hopefully, um. They don't knock me out of position, which it honestly looks like they may. <laughs> but... You got this. Okay. Whew. I had to do that fast because they can knock Lara out of position and it is really annoying. Um, this is a type of through by. Can go through the window. Uh, we just kind of. If we try real hard, if we believe, we can do it. If we believe. The ladder bugs here uh, all work the same as they do in the old. Um, executable but they're performed differently uh so i gotta have to i have to like turn lara around yeah so it's a bit weird but it still works so that's that's good you don't have to climb uh any of the ladders embarking hashtag just works it's fine yeah yeah got it though and we're gonna do, hopefully, a, a trigger skip here. There is a boulder that likes to come down from this section, but... Okay, good, I got it. Um, we're just gonna skip that boulder. <laughs> yeah, we can't skip this one, though. Or we might be able to, I never tried, but... Maybe. That one will come for us if we're not quick. Just, just, gotta, just gotta be fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah. So, uh, the big thing with Bar King Monastery is that there is a glitch called the Item Duplication Glitch, and... Normally, you would have to collect five prayer wheels in this level to open the exit door, and with this glitch, we only have to collect one, so that is what I'm about to do here by collecting this one. Laura's feeling lazy and just decided to 3D print all of the, the wheels that we needed. Yeah. <laughs> 3D print those wheels. <laughs> like, who so, needs to go um... find them? <laughs> no, so uh, it takes quite a bit of time off the level. I think in Glitchless, this level takes like 18 minutes or something. But here, I think it saves about seven, maybe, for Glitch. It's a huge time save. Yeah, you guys will definitely see. Definitely a time save. Yeah. Goodness. Um, so what we're going to do is um, the Seraph, that item that I collected at the end of the deck, I'll actually be using that item to uh -huh. um, duplicate the prayer wheel. Uh, four other times, so you'll you'll see me do that uh, right after I do a quick dive bug. Dive bug. Dive bug. Dive bugs. <laughs> Ooh, I hope this monk doesn't mess me up. Okay, good. I'm like, the dude, monk? you might wanna, <laughs> might wanna go the other way. I'm trying to do crazy stuff here. Oh. Monk, I know you're trying to help and everything, but uh, can you move, please? <laughs> yeah. So, so someone has a question be... in the chat. Um, are the glitches different from the PlayStation version on the PC? Some of them, yes, they are different. Um, the PlayStation version has some exclusive glitches, specifically underwater flare glitches. Um, you're allowed to use flares underwater to kind of 
um, I guess, back Lara into uh, walls. So, so it works the same way as like a corner bug in, in a sense that like it gets her to the highest available landing spot um, in PlayStation as well. But yeah, they're they are different. Where's I don't this? know actually if this works on PlayStation. I, I'd have to check with some some people. I don't know if anyone in the chat, uh, any of the Tomb Runners are here, if they can answer that. I don't know quite offhand, because I haven't quite finished learning the PlayStation version. Somebody might know. Somebody might know. Maybe Darren it, or... It does Jack. work. Yes. It, okay, it does work. Yeah. Thanks, right, Flux. Cool. Thanks. Oh, Flux said that? Yeah. Flux. Thanks, Flux. It's a good lad right there. Mm-hmm. All right. So we've used the Seraph, and now we are out of Arcane. We out of here. Oh, yeah. We're getting deeper and deeper into the madness here. Um, we're gonna see a few yetis. Hey. Because it's, it's a wild pack of yetis. Just... Yeah. This level has the one, and then the next level. Oh, my goodness. You guys aren't ready for the next level. I don't think. You might be, but... Might be. I, I don't know if I'm ready. Are we ready? I have to align this a bit better. Alright, got it. Okay, I have to watch out sometimes this time. So, what is it? Snow snow leopard, I think? It's fate! Oh it's fate! There it's we go. It's fate! Fate, don't hurt me! Fate, I see you, but please, please. Please! Put the claws down. <laughs> <laughs> put the claws down, girl. Oh. Uh. And, uh, ooh, sorry, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, so we have to pick up this, um, this mask here mm -hmm. to, uh, open one of the, one of the doors to the exit. And I'm gonna be doing a series of, like, falls that can be a bit scary, so, um, uh -huh. here we go, I guess. Make those jumps. Dad. Alright, no, no, no biggie, we got that. There we go. All good. I do actually trigger skip uh, Faith's friends, believe it or not. There's like four other snow leopards that appear. More Faith, oh boy. Uh, yeah, so we gotta be careful there. We in for a wild ride. Yeah, so we don't have to, to mess with them because they'll knock Lara around and whatever. Okay. So now we're going to uh, end the level here in a second and we'll be in uh, Ice Palace. And Ice Palace has a really unique um, trick. I don't know what the official title is called, but uh, we're calling it the uh, Bounce Pad Quick Travel. Uh, we're we're, we're going to be jumping around. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I mess this up, uh, so just bear with me, guys, while I try to get this. Um, hopefully I can get it. Let's try, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, so essentially you're... Of... Go, go ahead. Oh yeah, no, I have to line her up, but yeah, Kat, if you wanna. Uh, for for the bounce pad, basically it's it essentially go. just looks like she's jumping on a trampoline and then clips through a wall. Yeah, so you use the bounce pad to kind of uh, use that momentum to like get into that upper section. You can still do it the other way, which is like, which is a quarter bow, but um, yeah, it's more it's more flashy, right, guys? Using the trampoline it's, it's strats. Just, you gotta you, you gotta have the style points. It's all Style about points. that. Oh yeah. Come on. We got to. There we go. Alright, so there's gonna be a yeti after me here. I gotta do this kind of fast, but one yeti, two yeti, three yeti, four. The yetis are like actually terrifying. <laughs> yeah, there's this whole section that we skip. It might be catacombs, but the levels are kind of connected and it's like Yeti Hotel. Like they're so Many yetis, it's like really scary and it's all dark. Got a whole family here. Sparing you guys, don't have to see that. Well, maybe in Glitchless you would, but... Alright. Yeah. Okay, so we have to pick up the gong hammer here. Um, I don't know why anybody little... would want to swim in that. I... Oh yeah, it's freezing. Well, it's interesting because um, in this 
In Tomb Raider 2, there's no, like, freezing water, uh, I guess, mechanic. Okay, so that's pretty rude. One no, Yeti, two that. Yeti, three Yeti, four! Are there going to be any more? <laughs> there's no freezing yes. water mechanic, so she doesn't get cold and run out of health, so you can just swim in that, but... Yeah, this is just crazy stuff. It's like, you got, you know, the avalanche coming. You got boulders. yetis hustling. You got yetis hustling, trying to get at you. It's, it's scary, guys. It's a lot going on. Yeah. Unfortunately here, um, I don't get to do one of my favorite glitches in all of Tomb Raider, which is the uh, weapon combined glitch. In this version, it's really not um, practical because you have to go out of your way to pick up the... Um, the shotgun ammo. So instead, we got the flicker strats and rig, which I guess it's a fair trade off because that is a fun um, glitch. Um, flicker is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. Put Laura to work. Yeah. Uh, usually, you would use the gong hammer to like uh, sh shake off this ice so that you could get into this uh, area to pick up the uh, talion. Just gonna go right through it. Who needs yeah. it? Uh -huh. But the Guardian isn't happy about you picking it up, and he's like, What are you doing taking my key? So How dare you! Out. How dare you! He's gonna come out and, uh, try to cause some problems for me, but... This looks like a giant yeti chicken. <laughs> he almost killed me, that was scary. Oh my god. Please, sir, calm down. Yeah, alright. So I have to make a save, like, immediately as soon as this next level starts. Because the setup for this starts, like, now. Um, we're gonna be doing some void travel, friends. So. We're going into the void, so she's gonna need to be a little- We're gonna be a little quiet, because she needs to Yeah, count. I have to count like crazy, so just bear with me, guys. It's gonna get a little quiet. We're- we're going where no- Tomb See you on the other side! Before. Yeah. <laughs> Got this. So this should be fine. Whew. Just gotta do a series of jumps and we'll be there in no time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Oh, okay. Oh, guys. Got it. Yay! Oh, all right. That's real scary. Uh, you can't see anything, right? So you have to rely on your inputs there. Um, we'd normally exit from right here, but that skips the entire level. Yeah, so. it, it literally just skips the entire thing. So it's yeah. very, very... She has to basically count and do a bunch of segment of movements and try yeah. to make sure she gets to the right place and not exactly. somewhere else. So it's so hard to explain that because I have to focus so hard to make sure I don't um, mess up the inputs. Yeah. Um, this guy... Very... Right. Is he flying? He's flying. He's flying. We gotta wait for him to drop. Dude, like it. Right, thanks, dude. <laughs> I like how he just falls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like scary. his magic ran out. His magic? He's like, oh god. I'm so Damn, not again. Craft. 
Spooky craft. Paper craft. <laughs> that actually kind of works because like paper craft, paper craft. Why did I not put that together until like just now? <laughs> I don't know. Right, just, just happened. It just happened. All right. So we're gonna do another void travel here. Um, More void travel. This again. It's another kind of setup. <laughs> this one's quicker though. Yeah, this one's quicker. So we won't be. I gotta, I gotta be careful because these guys are still like on me. You know, like they're still after me. Yeah, and they they could potentially mess us up, but she got it. She got it. Okay, here we go. All right, and we got it. Got that void. See ya, nerd. Later. Later, header. But yeah, right. void travel is very. It's one of those things where it's like you can't see where you're going, so you just kind of have to rely on movement yeah. and inputs. So actually, that's that's the main reason I would say that most of the runners have switched to this um, particular version, because you can't do that in the other one. So. Yeah, I think here we are. Uh -huh. The old way of doing Ooh. that was just like literally going through the level, right? Um, there was a skip. It it's still a fast skip for that that level, but um, not too bad. Okay, so before I pull this switch, I'm gonna do a quick med check. Got two and two. Okay, the guys, this is like the bare minimum I need to get through this. So pray for me. You got it. You got it. See Everybody's peaceful. Bless this run, chat. I know if I die, Flux is gonna get mad at me because he would say why didn't you do the freaking dope wow how and these guys these those those spikes do a lot of damage yeah these guys hurt like a lot so if you guys could please get out of my way thank you okay oh nice He's... Yeah, th those are like they're like throwing knives essentially or you know, mouse clickers, whatever works. Yeah, you could. I, I, I actually, yeah, I like the I like the term mouse clickers instead. They're trying to get me to update Windows, and I'm I'm just like, no. <laughs> remind me in four hours. Just remind me later, please. Yeah. So the path thing for the dragon here, which is Bartoli, is um, blocked a bit. He doesn't know where to find Lara, so he just gets a bit stuck here. Yeah, he just he's just chilling while we kill him. Yeah, <laughs> so we just make quick work of him. Um, he was very good boy. Yep. So he was a good boy. Pats for uh, the dragon. He was a good boy. Okay. Sometimes there's a little rogue flame like right here by the door that you can actually get set on fire with. Uh, yeah. If you go straight, you can usually avoid it, but it's it's such a freak accident. I'm glad it didn't happen. Um, okay. And you'd think that'd be the end of the game, friends, but actually, now that Lara has the dagger, uh, the cult, well, they still ain't having it. You know, Bartoli may be dead, <laughs> but uh, there are plenty of cultist members to but wait. attack the manor. There's more! Oh, wait, there's more! I like so... how she's just all doing this in a robe. Oh, yeah. Lara can't be bothered to change. She's got things to do. she got to get these intruders out of her house. Time so, to get out, boys. Oops. So this level has mostly RNG. You can sometimes get kind of bad spawns. Um, there is a scripted window break, but it doesn't always break. Um, yeah, that's a stubborn, so, it's a stubborn yeah, window. It's a stubborn one, and I'm actually fumbling all over this um, these pickups right now. So Got it. it's okay. the RNG is going to be weird. <laughs> Here we go. Bless that RNG. Guy, break it. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Hey, at least it broke. Right. We're back on track. So uh, this is just a simple run and gun. I have to kill all of the intruders, including dogs, sorry, puppers, uh, that, that are here. And then once I do that, the final boss, oh, come back here. <laughs> come back here. The final <laughs> boss will spawn. So He really, he really um, doesn't want to get shot. No, he, he wants really to doesn't. Live. <laughs> These boys are stubborn. They just got a lot to say with their bats. Yeah. 
these bat thugs, these ruffians, <laughs> how they, dare they? They're mad about that Merkmobile. <laughs> they're mad about the Merkmobile. They're mad that I stole it. You know, that's what they're really here for. They're yeah. like, how dare you blow up our prized Merkmobile? We want our Merkmobile back. How dare you? How dare you sink it to the bottom of the ocean? We we worked hard for that thing. All right, to be safe, friends, at the garden party med pack. It's always a treat. Have some tea later. Oh, oh, that Ooh, guy went down. Oh, some... What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> he was flailing. I man. guess that was the guy that I had shot in in the, her room. So <laughs> having a moment. All right, Mr. Boss Man, now show yourself. Just this guy left. And hopefully he should spawn right now. Unless I miss someone. Nope, there he is. Oh, Mr. Bossman. It literally looks like he's just like tapping you with his magnums. Alright, let's see if I can glitch this player. And it'll be coming up on time soon. We're getting there. Watch Lara's hands real quick. <laughs> Hold on, I just got this flare. One-handed shotgun. Time. Time! Oh, I can breathe! You got it! There oh, you go. God. Thank you guys so much um, for watching this run. Tomb Raider 2 is a very special game to me. And uh, thank you, Kat. Hey, no worries. Helping me compensate this. I did my my internet literally crashed halfway through the run, so I was blindly trying to figure out where we were. <laughs> oh, that's okay. No, thank you guys so much. And Muffins and Nika, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you guys very much. Everybody oh, watch. Of <laughs> See, that's exactly what I said. I said it was gonna be hilarious and super fun, and I was right. So Aw, oh, Nika. <laughs> guys, hey, those are some hearts for Nika. Oh, how dare. Um, yeah, uh, did you have any glitches or anything to show us as well? I think we have some extra time for that. If we have some extra time, uh, we can run around the manor because there are yeah. other things to show off. Um, we weren't able to lock a certain someone in the freezer last time, so we will be doing that, I think. And uh, I'll show you guys the assault course, and also, um, if we do have more time to kill, I can show you guys a secret room in Croft Manor that you might not have seen before. So that was uh, that was the main game. Let's go to the manor. I actually spent a lot of time in the manor Welcome for this back. game. You know, the manor is a comfy team. place. I it's like, you know, the yeah, game is so stressful sometimes that you want to get in the manor and you just, you know, just relax. So this is Winston. Uh, say hi to Win Winnie, guys. Hi, Wave Winnie. Hello. What's hi, up? Winnie. And uh, Lars, loyal butler. So I think what we'll do is... Um, We'll go ahead and try to do the assault course for you guys, and then we'll take him to his uh, favorite place. The uh... he just—it's his moment. It's his place where he just like you know he cools off. Yeah, so we'll just take him to his place where he cools off and like you know thinks. Everybody needs a place like that. So uh, as I'm doing the assault course here, um, he'll 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 be following so, slowly, but but following. He actually used to freak me out so much as a kid. Like, I, I remember specifically putting him in the freezer because I was like, you scare me, sir. You well, it's like, me. he follows you around so much. You're, and sometimes you're like, he sneaks up on you too. And he's like, yeah. Oh. You're like, oh my God, Winston, what are you doing? You're just, so it's just like, better to, yeah. Just put him away somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want to like, just turn the corner and then all of a sudden just Winnie right, right in your face. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> like, please. And then I he makes all those guys, noises too. I don't know if you guys knew this actually, but um, the the grunting sounds that Winston makes were actually made by the composer of this game, Nathan McCree. Uh, it's sort of one of those fun facts that I found out, uh, oh, maybe a little over a year ago. Um, so that's kind of cute, in my opinion. Also, the fart noise he makes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did sneak a uh, sneak a little, you know. They're sneaking oh, in the toots. That was my best time. Sucking yet. a little toot there so that Feel the publishers the wouldn't notice. Uh, that is also true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go into the manor and um, we'll uh, we'll go we'll, we'll go let him in the side door through the kitchen. So um, yeah. So let's let's at least open the door for him so he can get let's through. 
Oh, yeah, because he can't open doors. No, he can't. He, he's got a tray. He's carrying a tray, so. He's shaking, uh, too. He's got, the, he's got the tremors going on. Yeah. So while we wait for him, uh, I'll, let's go. And since you guys were de uh, deprived of Venice violins, let's go ahead and play it for you now. Oh, Yay! Right. Silver linings! At least we get some, some benefit of Venice. Yes. I love these violins. So good. Needed a little bit of classic music for this event here. Do, 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 do. This makes this ten times more dramatic. <laughs> come on, Winnie. Come, Winnie, come to the freezer. Come to the freezer, sir. Well, let's open it at least. It's funny, actually, sometimes if I stand doesn't know it's probably not gonna happen now but sometimes if i'm standing like here his pathing gets confused and he'll actually run through this table like a couple of times what <laughs> it's very bizarre oh yeah you guys want to talk about how big this oh is? yeah it's like a bathtub uh, that's a hot tub <laughs> yeah we've got faucet chan say hi to faucet chan that faucet is literally the size of her oh yeah no big deal. That? Just Croft Manor things. Okay, Either that Winston. or Lara's just like. Oh, he's doing it, guys! What did oh, I say? He running through. <laughs> he's running. He was scared. So <laughs> Winston can defy all. You know, he's a magical man as well. It, you know, it runs in the house for whatever yeah, reason. Anybody who lives in that in house. The there you go. <laughs> Anybody who lives in that there. house just clips her everything. Come here, Winston. Come here, Winston. We've got... Meat slabs. <laughs> meat. We got the meat for you. We got the... Yeah. We got the stuff. <laughs> your, tea, your tea, madam. That's yeah, this is what I think so about your tea, tea, Winston. Goodbye, Winston. Bye, Winston. Good. You think, you think about what you've done. Bye. Well, <laughs> I, he tried, you guys. He tried. He, he did his but best. He did his best, but unfortunately, his best is <laughs> not just stuck uh, in the door. good enough. He looks really upset. You know what? Actually, he kind of looks like, oh, Lady Croft at it again. Just, you know, the regular day at the manor. Oh, shoot. Here we go again. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> see you, Winston. Thanks for the tea. Drink it later. Bye. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends now. Um, Muffins, is there still time for me to show off the uh, special place in the manor? Alright, so we're gonna go do a little special thing. There is a secret room in Croft Manor. And there is a time trial for it, so we're, we're kind of headed to a room right now uh, in the, the maze. Ooh. I think and... I just always got lost in this thing. Ooh. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't. I I've just been in it so many times and I'm like, okay, left, right, left. <laughs> left so we're going to pick up right. uh, some flares and we're actually going to go to that secret room and you'll you'll be able to see some cool stuff. So let's see if we can um, do this. I, I can't make saves for this, so we just got to go and make sure we get there in time. I believe. All right, here we go. And it's that door that's right by the clock in the manor, so... Oh, damn. Let's, let's move, move, move! No. Hustle, hustle, hustle! Hustle! Let's go! <sighs> left, 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 right, left! <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right, left, right, right, <laughs> left, left. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, I think this Can is the actual... way back. I'm getting confused now. Okay, we're going the right way, so this is fine. It's hard to it's hard to jump when you're going through all these tiny little corners because um you don't wanna you don't wanna mess things up. But I think the front door is open. It should be, yeah, I opened it. Okay. So we should have no problem getting to this room. Keep on bunny hopping. Alright, so the door is still open. Let's go go. Alright, and we made it. Yay! Woohoo! So, oh, I totally remember this room. Yeah, so so it was hard back in the day to get into this room. Um, yeah, it was a struggle. 
without the timer uh, going off because that maze is a mess. But uh, let's light a flare. Let's head on down here. And I'll show you guys what's in the secret uh, room. So there's a lot of a lot of treasures, you know? Um, How do you get to that treasure? <laughs> well, actually, you know, I don't know that you can get into this section of the map. Can we just click through? I, oh! Oh well. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can, but there's some interesting artifacts, uh, some of which I think are from Tomb Raider 1 that they decided to kind of like put in here. Um, the I top guess. one, I think, is from Tomb Raider 1, and then this other one, I don't know, it just kind of looks like a really happy cat of some kind. I, uh, can't, I can barely tell what that is. <laughs> maybe, that's maybe, a, yeah, that's yeah. a whole something, that's for sure. On the Zoom. And then there's things like this. Um, I do remember the top one from Tomb Raider 1, though. This thing kind of scares me a little. Um, I like how it's like the PNGs just like trying to like match where the camera is, so it just looks like it's yeah. So it's just like moving like, everywhere. Yeah, the, my flare ran out, so I have to light another one. But yeah, so there's things like that. Um, I think there are actually some cat. Yeah, here we go. So these I think appear in uh, Egypt. In uh, in Tomb Raider 1. So yeah, okay, that's yeah, um, yeah. that's like the little secret, uh, the little secret oh. underground place. Not not too too much to show, but it, but it's cute, you know, that they decided to add that. Our little secret hideaway. Our little secret hideaway. There it is. Um, Need some lights in here though. Yeah, that's why it's important to pick up the flare pack. Um, Before you go in there, yeah. Oh. Did I lock myself in here? Hello? Oh, hold on. And now we can't get out! Now... It's Which, over. This is this is actually the game oh. taking revenge on us for putting yep. Winnie in the freezer. Yeah. Should we let him out, guys? I feel bad. Yeah, let, let, you know, let's, let's let, let him, him out. out. Let's let him out. Hashtag free Winston. Free Winston. Oh my god, he's trying so hard. That's just sad. Oh, look at him! I, right. I feel terrible. There, Winston, you're this, free and all is let, right again. Let this man out. <laughs> anyway, guys, um... Oh, Chat, God, so Winston! Come on, free Winston. Please, we have company. <laughs> He's gonna have nightmares of meat for, like, just completely <laughs> forever. He got it. Not, he got not into the meat. The <laughs> not the meat. <laughs> not the meat. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you sure. so much. Yeah. Uh, uh, is that it? Is that all? Yeah, I mean, it, More I, glitches. Think, I can show you guys the pool, but there's really nothing much else uh, to show glitch-wise. Oh, well, actually, I could show you guys one something, if you don't mind. Oh, the void travel. The void travel? Um, yeah, so what happens with the void travel is, like, essentially, um... Okay, so for example, when you glitch into something, like, let's say this corner... Um, you know, Lara is gonna be getting inside, like, a like the yeah, solid space. So slowly starts to get in, and then... So what's... Yeah, so what's happening is, like, instead of glitching to, like, the top immediately in these cases, Lara's actually stuck, like, inside this object, if you can, like, think about it that way. Um, and so... You, you need to do like a series of um, inputs. A, a lot of times you might use a buffer where you like go into the menu, you're holding left or right or whatever, and then you can see like Lara will slightly turn. Um, so that's like very precise movement with her feet. Um, and then like backflips and forward flips. So like you have to kind of navigate that void space in order to. Um, get ejected upward. Um, if I have a save in... Well, I don't have a save at the beginning of Xi'an, but I could just show you real quick, like, what it is that you're actually skipping. Um, yeah, so it's, this it's... is, like, this level exit here, typically. But what you're doing is you're actually glitching through this solid space up to the top of this. And then this is, like, how you exit the level. So you're going from, like, this corner here into the wall, doing a series of inputs, like, bada-bing, bada-boom. And then Essentially, Lara Yeah, you're just, like, walking through everything. Yeah, so... And it's you have to not be easy careful. to navigate. 
and you can, yeah, you can mess it up, so it's like, everything's just very precise. Don't ask me yeah. how people find these glitches. I have we no will never idea. know. <laughs> we will never know. There's ways to go into the uh, the level editor and like look at values and that sort of thing. Um, uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, that's just it, kind it, of it, how you do it. And then the setup is just precise, so that's why I can't. Re I wasn't able to really talk here. Um, yeah, because she has to. She has to count how many like movements she needs to do. So it gets yeah. kind of like gets a little like you need to think for a minute yeah seven so like i'm counting here to like about 38, 38. or so of course mm -hmm. i've lost count now so yeah we'll just let it go for a little while so this is why <laughs> we kind of need quiet because yeah like you can go over the value a bit um Lars, i think hitting something like a, a wall of some kind so it doesn't totally matter she's just like moving very tiny bases at a time um i'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably about 38 and then um having to do like the buffers Le right and then also left do a little flip here do a little side step over there yeah and so then those were like um uh mid-air twists you couldn't tell right but those were like mid-air twists and then we have to do like a series of backflips but we have to do the backflips at like a very um specific point specific uh rhythm yeah so you want that slow rhythm here you want to go too fast but you don't want to go too slow uh but yeah it essentially just looks like we're you know, playing with the menu, we might have soft locked, but guarantee you, we're doing things. <laughs> I might have messed this up, but we'll see. Can we right. do it? Can we do it again? For the one time? See. For the two time? <laughs> yeah, I always find like whenever there's like a, a void travel in any sort of speed run, it's always the most like nerve-wracking things you're like please make it to the right spot <laughs> yeah and there's no way of telling right okay yeah. so we got it but so then now you guys can get a little bit of a better view like so this is where we started the level like underneath this whole section um we're essentially now, just glitching <laughs> now we're top. up here like typically lara won't be able to jump from like this tile to this uh platform here so that's why we have to use void travel. Um, just like I said, a lot of precise stuff. Um, if you were to do this level normally, you would fall here and then go all. Got to go through a whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, um, so yeah, that's. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just it it looks confusing because you're just staring at a, a wall or staring at the menu. Yeah, this is ca this is casual, just going down the thing, and then so you have to go all the way around. It skips just like honestly so much time. Um, yeah, so. so instead of sliding all the way to the bottom, literally all yeah. the way to the bottom, yeah. we're just gonna we'll go swimming. Out. We'll just sway, but the level's very long, and we skip all of this and going through. So the current tr drags you away. You keep dropping. Yeah, and uh, I, yeah, honestly, and I think that's back. probably about what all i can really show you guys um in terms of explaining i i could i'm not sure how much time we we need to uh yeah friend here we but yeah. are yeah we're all set you can make friends with the eel again hello eel Hello. Eel. <laughs> so i'm okay. glad to see that and thank Aww. you so much for this run it was incredibly informative and of course completely hilarious so both of you guys are amazing thank you Aww. so much Aww. thank you so much thank for you. uh having us and uh I guess we'll be signing up and we'll yeah. Get right. Do you have any other uh, shout outs of the community or anything? Um, honestly, just shout outs to everybody that, that watched the run today. I, I appreciate you guys and everybody that's been very encouraging of me, like trying to learn all these new strats for uh, the run. It was it was overwhelming, but I'm really happy we were able to to get it done. So thank you so much, you guys. We are believed awesome. in you when you did it. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Oh, we're going to take a short break, and then we're going to be back to watch some art. We're going to see some art being made. Art is like magic. 
So stay tuned and we'll be back in.